you then. Well, our KY3 road trip along historic Route 66 is headed for green country. But right now, KY3's Paul Adler and photographer Tim Limecooler are on the road to Oklahoma City. And that includes a stopover in Tucumcari, New Mexico. Paul? We are in Tucumcari, New Mexico, in one of the four museums in this city. This is the Mesa Lands Dinosaur Museum. Joining us now, Gretchen Gertler. And behind you, Gretchen, that looks like a bronze statue to me, but it uh, has a little bit of more of a connection to real life. Oh, yes. This um, was constructed based on real bones that our students here dug up right here in our county in northeastern New Mexico. And they were put together at our bronze foundry using a lost wax method. So it's exact replica of what the animal looked like when it was alive. All right. And you talked about students. Let's step over here. It's not only a museum, but this is... As I understand it, a research facility. Oh, yes, uh, Natural Resources uh, uh, Research Center, and um, we're funded from NSF. And this is, and we have a student here who's working on some uh, material that she personally dug up this year during our field season. Everything you see in the back was um, dug up by students um, this summer, once again in the county. Gretchen, thank you very much. Let's now see uh, the historical museum that we visited just down the street. The interstate came through in the early 1970s, and it basically, what it did, it just directed the traffic completely onto I-40, took it away from the center of Tucumcari. We had a lot of people that would drive strictly through Route 66, come straight down the center of our town, and travel to Albuquerque or to Amarillo, our existing cities on each side of us. But when the I-40 came through, they just started sweeping through and didn't stop. And then we had the railroad here, and it was closed. It closed about 15 years ago, and that put a Big Denton to can carry. Our population today is probably 4,200 people to 5,000 people. Where when we first started here, it was over 10,000 people. Wow! So it's Big really difference. it's really hurt our city. There's a bit of a resurgence happening. What kind of impact is 66 having on the town now? Well, with our four museums here in Tucumcari, it's really pulling in a lot of our citizens. We get people from all over the world, Germany, Switzerland, Sri Lanka, and um, that's really helping our city. But it's, it's, we're getting a lot of people here, so coming in to see us. Thank you to 66 Travelers is what's keeping our little city going. All right, we're going to be on the road again in just... Uh two minutes when we clean up our mess inside the museum and we're going to wind up somewhere in Oklahoma on Friday. We will be back home leading a, a little parade in Springfield. We'll send it back to you. All right, Paul. Happy trails to you. Up next, Tesla looking to grow by